Hi everyone and welcome to Ask Adrian. My name is Adrian and I am the Learning Development Specialist at CompuGen Inc. I will be fielding questions from educators across North America on how to create an inclusive and engaging learning space. Today's Ask Adrian question comes from Amelia in Edmonton. She is asking about best practices on how to set up Microsoft Teams and how to organize those channels within Teams. Let's explore this together. Select, join, or create a team within the left rail found at the bottom of this section. The different types of teams are based on the type of people that you are going to work with. There are four to choose from. Let's take a close look. There are class teams where teachers and students collaborate on group projects, assignments, and more. There are professional learning community teams where educators collaborate with other professionals. There are staff member teams where school administration and staff leaders collaborate on development and projects. And lastly, there are teams for anyone where school, teachers, and school employees collaborate based on interest groups, clubs, or extracurricular. Depending on the type of team you create, the organization of the team and pre-populated tabs will be slightly different. Let's take a look. Within my class team, you'll notice there is my general channel, and within the general channel, I have my conversation, files, class notebook, and assignments. A team for anyone, which was the fourth option of teams, You'll notice in my general channel, there are only conversations and file tabs. New tabs can be added at any time by clicking on the plus. You can create channels within your teams based on your needs. These can be created by topic, unit of study, or core subjects, but are not limited to these examples. Each team, as mentioned, will always include the general channel to start. You can create as many channels as you want, depending on your work, topic, or to break curriculum into units. To create a channel, select the ellipses beside the team's name and click Add Channel. Amelia, let's take a look at how I've organized some of my teams to help you understand there is no wrong way on how to choose your team and channels organization structure. Within my grade four learning community, I've created my channels to represent the different subjects, language, math, science, and social studies. Each represents its own channel. Within my grade six math learning community, I've created channels based on the different strands within math data management and probability, number sense, numeration, patterning and algebra. There are five different channels there representing the different strands in math. And lastly, the last class team that I've created is a unit in science on solids, liquids and gases. And each of the channels that I have created represent each of those states of matter, gases, solids and liquids. Let's go ahead and set up a class for Amelia in her grade eight class, specifically with reference to history. Click in the left rail on the bottom to join or create a team. Press create team, and this will be a class for Amelia's grade eight history. So we'll press on classes. We're going to name this Amelia's grade eight history class, and we'll press next. It has created Amelia's grade eight history class, and now we're going to go and add channels. Once again, you'll notice the general channel was populated, and the tabs within that general channel are conversations, files, class notebook, and assignments. To add a channel, go to the ellipses next to the team name, click on that, and press add channel. There are two strands in the history grade eight curriculum. One is called Creating Canada. So we're gonna create a channel called Creating Canada. 
and press Add. We'll see within our left rail, we, have, we now have a new channel called Creating Canada. There is a second strand called Canada, a Changing Society, so we're going to add a channel called Canada, a Changing Society. We've created our channels. Now, let's upload a file to Amelia's Grade 8 History class. Let's upload the file in the General channel. Click on General. Click on Files, Upload, and search for the file either in your OneDrive or on your computer, and upload to the general channel. Amelia, thanks for asking. I know you will enjoy exploring the app and setting up teams as you feel is best fit for both your students and the focus of the team. Enjoy collaborating. If you have a question for me, please forward it to learning specialist at compugen.com. Until next time, thanks for watching.